now I will wrap the item in cart property inside a span element just to add some styling to look better and to make the number just at the top of the icon this look better okay now if we refresh the page as you can see we lose all the data that we have in our card for that we are gonna implement the local storage but before I do that I will just rename the behavior subject and I will have an empty array called placeholder so what I wanna do is whenever the app or the website loads we want to try to retrieve any data from the local storage by using the local storage dot get item because this returns a string we need to parse it Now after we retrieve uh, any stored data, we're going to check if there is actually any data stored. Initially there is going to be none, but if there is, we're going to emit this data. Otherwise, we're only going to be emitting an empty array. As you know, the behavior subject will have a default value and that we assigned an empty array to it so we'll always be emitting an empty array same as inside our method we're gonna get the local storage and we're gonna define a variable called exists to check if we have any data or object stored in the local storage we do that by iterating through the item card dot by using the find method and compare or match the data of the stored object to the data that we pass so if if we find anything in there if we find an object that match our data like i said we use the id property because it is a unique identifier so if we have the data we just gonna increment it is quantity property and now we're gonna set the new data to our local storage because we need to store it as a string we need to use the string phi method to do that now if there is no data there is no object is found We're gonna check if we have any other data stored in the local storage not only that specific product that we try to add but any data if there is we're gonna define a new array and it's gonna append the data we have in our local storage and we're gonna use the spread operator to have to extract only the objects we have and the new object that we are passing so we binding or combining the new data into a new array after that we're gonna store the new data to our local storage
and we want to emit the new data so that it can be subscribed from any other objects that we need okay so if there is no data stored in our local storage we're gonna push the new data that we want to add to our placeholder object and then we're gonna set that new data to our local storage and then we're gonna emit that data don't worry about all this nested if else we're gonna fix that we're gonna clean up for now I just want you to understand how we structure our our uh, local storage and the setting now if we come back to our app template component we just wanna wrap uh, the cart icon inside an anchor element so we will be able to navigate to the cart page or component when we click on it if we refresh our page we still gonna retain that data it is stored in our local storage if you go to the uh, Google development tool and look at the app tab application tab okay so we just gonna do some clean up with define a method called set cart data which will accept a data and whenever we pass any data to that method it will just store that data to our local storage so we just gonna call that method whenever we need to store any data We also going to define another method that gets the data from the local storage. okay let's just recap of what we did okay so what this does is is gonna check for any data stored in our local storage if it does we're gonna emit that data so it can be subscribed to if not we're gonna still emit an empty array since the behavior subject will always will, will always be emitting a default value and when we add item to the card we check if we have data and then we're gonna define a variable to see if the data we try to store is already exist if it exists we're gonna only store or increase the quantity and then we're gonna set the data if 
the item does not exist we still gonna check if there are other data that is stored in our local storage we're gonna extract the object from that and we're gonna add our new object and create a new array we store the new array and we're gonna emit it if not then we're just gonna push our new object to the placeholder array and store it and then emit it since we emitting we just since we emitting every time we store our data we just gonna have it inside our set data card and get rid of the other lines as well okay thank you for watching see you in the next video